all you fine folks. I thought I would just do a little color commentary on this new episode. As you can see, I parted ways from Wayne in Knoxville and he went his direction and I went to Nashville. I landed there in the evening after about seven, eight hours on the road and joined up with my friends Jessica and Erin, who are both from Ohio, where I was born. And then I met them in Los Angeles and they both happened to be in Nashville at the time. And so it was just really great to kind of reunite with them <laughs> and um, and go have a little bit of a musical dance oriented evening, of course, like two things that I just absolutely love. So I had only been in Nashville like one other time. And so on both of these trips, and I said, oh, I, I could really do for some, some music, some dancing, maybe some blues. They ended up taking me to the same place my friend Jason took me before, which to me is just an indication that, you know, we were on the right path. This place must be good. And well, it was, it was fantastic. Like the music was just incredible. So Printer's Alley, if you haven't been there, it's definitely a place to go. Um, if you live in Nashville, then You've been there, you've heard of it. Um, Bourbon Street Blues and Boogie Bar. The first time I went there, there was sort of like a um, open mic scenario where a bunch of random people would get up and play together. Just kind of like open mic, spontaneous band scenario. Anyways, it was really great. Um, on this night, there was this particular band that was there and we all grabbed a drink and then sat for a little bit and took it in. Um, and then of course we also got out there and danced. I was a little jealous. I kind of wish that there was someone there that was available to be a dance partner, but that's okay. I got out there with Jessica and we just kind of boogied on our own. And, um, and that brought me back to my alto saxophone days. Man, I mean, I used to be good, I mean, not that good, but um, that was like 20 years ago. Like, I can hardly read music anymore, it's kind of sad. But this guy, oh my gosh, he was just like rocking out on the guitar. Um, and I just took my first guitar lesson like a week ago. And well, I have a lot of respect for folks who can play like that. I'll just say that. Okay, the only other time I've been driven around by someone on a bike like that was in Cuba. Um, wow, we were like sailing downhill. And it was just kind of fun. Like I would have been happy walking, but this was like a whole nother like adventurous experience to <laughs> fly around downtown Nashville. Yeah, we had a good time. Um, we are just silly. I think all three of us have a certain like playful, silly spirit and we were just all happy to be out together and um, having a good time. I mean, I, I probably had three alcoholic beverages the entire night, which was like many, many hours, you know? So this was just like our own, our own essences coming out. Um, this place, oh my gosh, all right. The band was very good, very good. This guy, I was just very impressed by his professionalism. Like he had a certain way to hear himself, the way he sang, the way he played the, the guitar, but really it was just like his presence. Um, I don't know. It seemed very polished and he was just on it. carried on. I mean, basically you just go down the street and their windows are open and you hear music coming in. And it's just like, you know, drawing you or they hope it's drawing you in. So tons of live music. I think this was a Sunday night and it was not dull to say the least. Uh, yeah, the Cowboy Hat store would have been fun. It was closed when we were going by, but that's all right. I have my boots on, of course. Who's Jessica? She's so fun. Broadway is kind of like a main street in Nashville where there are tons of music venues. People were friendly. <laughs> it feels so good to be with old friends and be around music. And I was having conversations spontaneously today in the grocery store with somebody and he was talking about, um, he was asking me about stuff I did. I was about music and dancing and stuff. And he's like, you know, it's like tribal, you know, it's very tribal. And I hadn't heard someone respond in that way when I'm talking about 
the different entertainment stuff that I do, but it's like, yeah, it is, you know? Community, people coming together, vibrations, and the way that impacts people. Something very human, very innate about it all. Whether you're just banging on a drum by yourself, singing a cappella, or with a group, or out in kind of mode. Anyways. It was so nice seeing old friends and going out and dancing in Nashville for the very first of five nights as I went across the United States. So the next day, I was headed to Hot Springs, Arkansas, but how could I not stop in Memphis, the city of blues? So in the next episode, you'll get to experience a very special place in Memphis. Fun times ahead.